<sighs> How unfortunate. I really thought Anga and the rest of them would understand my explanation. You feel that way because you are focused on the Earth's future, my lord. A thing vulgar people can seldom comprehend. Ophiel, I won't allow you to speak contemptuously of Anga and the others at Arx. If they hadn't helped us, we wouldn't have made it this far. I expect you to be grateful. I overstepped. Please forgive me. As long as you understand. Adam, sir. Arx, they sent a message. It seems as if they're questioning your actions. It is a strongly worded message that unequivocally demands a response. Sir Adam, what exactly is... There is no need to respond. My silence will speak volumes about my intent. More importantly, how long has it been since you joined Earth Guide? Sir, you kindly took notice of me ten years ago, and I have now served as a guard for three years and four months. I see. Ten years. That's an instant compared to how long the stars have been shining. But I suppose it's quite a long time to humans. I thank you for your devoted service. Mm, not at all. Your guidance has led me to new strength and wisdom, sir. I, and all my strength, are at your service. At my service? Let me correct you. Both my own strength and yours ought be used in service to the Earth, to bring about new evolution. Evolution, sir? Yes. Humans and the Earth must change to produce new wisdom, return to the time of creation, and make a new Eden here in this world. And to take a form befitting that Eden, humans must evolve as well. Thank you for serving me, in spite of my flaws. Let's evolve into something perfect together. Contain it. Evolving is difficult. What have you done, my lord? I fed Ether into his body to have him manifest a form more suitably evolved. Mother's power is capable of so many things. The path of evolution must be the correct one. And as such, I'll need to do further trials and make adjustments along the way. Forcible physical evolution? Sir Adam, if you do it by force, will the body not be warped and destroyed? There are some bodies that can withstand it, Ophiel. I know, because I've seen it many times. Evolution occasionally involves sacrifice. That is true of anything. Well then, shall we be on our way, Ophiel? Let us be the midwives to Earth's rebirth. Shortly after Adam retreated, we lost contact with the Earth Guide's Las Vegas headquarters completely. Other branches of Earth Guide have even sent messages to Arx asking what's happened. It seems as though the members of Earth Guide don't know about Adam's true intentions either. His real aim was to steal Mother's power when she was weak, and then he said he was going to lead Earth to evolution. How can he do that? That means that all this time. He was just using us and Arx to pull this off. Adam, you! Adam, 
cannot even conceive of the notion of having used you. It's never even crossed his mind. He believes that he is always doing good. On the contrary, it's unlikely he understands your reasoning at all. That is why he tried to convince you. To him, Mother is an evil being who abused the Earth. Naturally, he feels beyond reproach for killing her. And naturally, he believes stealing her power and using it to Earth's benefit is a just act. Perhaps the only just act. Using it to Earth's benefit? Is he going to use Mother's power for evolution or something? Yes. Adam's goal is evolution on Earth. He wants to make this planet like Eden once again. Put another way, he intends to remake the world using the power of Ether. He must find it difficult to accept the loss of Eden and the absence of a god in this era. He still regrets his exile. Fiend Felix, how do you know so much? What's your relationship to Adam? Consider him my opponent in the longest battle in human history. I wanted to kill him before something like this happened, but the unexpected got the better of me. Kill him? You're planning to kill Adam? Yes, that's right, young lady. That is the only way. Unlike Mother, he does not believe that his actions are wrong. He will never stop. Do you understand, young lady? I've no choice but to kill that... man, for lack of a more apt term. Despite being your enemy, you hesitated to kill me. Do you really think you can kill a former ally? I'm not important enough or powerful enough to decide who lives or dies. There's just one thing I can do right now. And that's to follow my heart. I won't lie to myself about what I want. I already decided that. And it won't change. This person killed Mother. He casually slaughtered her just when reconciliation was in reach. Do you not hate him? Of course I do! I'm not that nice of a person! I'm overflowing with anger! Still, that doesn't change my opinion. I'm going to stop Adam. I'll listen to what he has to say. Find out his plan. That's what I want to do. Young lady, would you be so kind as to tell me your name? Hitsuki. Hitsuki Yasaka. Well then, Hitsuki, let us conclude our meeting here. After all, you and I are not allies. From now on, we will be competing with one another. Each of us will apply all our strength to our goals. Me to kill Adam, and you to stop him. However, I do hope we both live, so that we can encounter each other at our full strength. Would you be so kind as to escort me to Earth? I am sure that Arx is not so boorish as to turn away a guest without even an escort. What is it, idiot? What did you come here for? Scoot over a little. <sighs> I want 
wanted to see you, looking all down. Too bad for you. I'm not that down. I felt like things would turn out this way eventually. So, you doubted Adam from the beginning? He would always say senseless things. He had a spirituality that made it hard to believe he was a regular person. I think that's why he was able to form Earth Guide and attract all those followers in the first place. Were you drawn to him too? Yeah, why well, deny it? Guess you and I both got played. Only difference is Mother Core pulled your strings and Earth Guide pulled mine. I was so overwhelmed trying to act grown up. All I could do was take the first hand that reached out. And it was Adam's. Oh. It's that look. It's kind of pissing me off. Huh, but you're actually being open and honest for once. It's not like you at all. I guess so. Unlike someone I know, I made sure not to bottle everything up inside and hold it in until I explode. Yeah, Cory really caused a lot of trouble. Just gonna let that sail right by you, huh? Just when I thought everything worked out with Mother, all this happens. Earth's one problematic planet, huh? Making a lot of trouble for Arx, too. The Mother issue was at least connected to Arx, but this is entirely Earth's problem now. We've got to do something about it ourselves. Kenga, don't forget to lean on me, too. Huh? You told me to depend on you more, right? <laughs> because we're family and all. That goes both ways. I'm your family, too. <sighs> Let's help each other out <laughs> when we're in trouble. I'm not so full of myself that I'm tempted to try to do things all on my own. I'll do what I can and rely on those I trust. I'm counting on everyone. Our friend, Corey, and you, of course. Let's do this, little sister. Count on me, big brother. Sugi were chatting, so I was taking a walk when Cory suddenly... I'm good at reading a room. Didn't want to interrupt a private chat, so we third wheels just cooled our heels. Our friend isn't here either, so in that sense, I'm a third wheel too. So, let's do some third wheeling together. Aww. But it was a perfect opportunity to listen in. Sierra, what are your... Or rather, what are Ark's thoughts on this whole situation? Excuse me? Well, Al and Mother are originally from our world. So their business is Ark's business. However, one could argue that the Adam situation isn't an Ark's problem, but instead an Earth-specific one. And because of that, you're worried about whether Arcs will help out. Yes. Like you said, no matter how big Arcs gets, we just don't have the manpower to take care of every single planet, let alone reason to. Even so, this entire incident began because of Mother's rise, and as a result of Al's rescue. So, don't worry, Cory. Arx is officially here to help. We've already negotiated all over the place and got Admiral Ook's approval. Were you worried they wouldn't help us out, Cory? Um, yeah, something like that. It went without saying. They're our comrades, and comrades come running in times of trouble. And if you, Hitsugi, or Inga, are ever in trouble, 
That's what they'll do. Every last one of them. <laughs> well said, Al. Succinct and most correct. Al's right, Cory. You, Hitsugi, and Enga are our comrades. Now and forever. And Arx does not abandon its comrades. Rest easy, because you can rely on us. Thank you. Oh, on that note, I have like a million questions about Earth's technology. I'm so curious. Like, take PSO2, for example. I think it might be possible for us to recreate its technology for cross-dimensional transport. PSO2? Well, I've got it installed on this tablet right here. What? C could I maybe borrow that for just a little teeny tiny bit? Oh, oh, oh. I see now. Once you've got the coordinates, you just... Ah, so that's how it is. I could just see the real thing, I'd be able to figure it out. So as a show of thanks, I'll grant you Ark's full cooperation. Huh? Is that really all it takes? <laughs> I'm just teasing. However, I don't think it's an especially hard decision, given that you're asking for Ark's aid. We are your comrades, after all. Isn't that right, Al? Yeah! What the? Oh, what's happening? We're picking up abnormal readings of ether in the Las Vegas area. No, not just in Las Vegas. The amount of ether on Earth is rising. It's like... It's like it's blanketing the whole planet! Oh! I've got a bad feeling about this. He's trying to force something to happen. Hurry! Hurry! Call everyone! We've got to stop it! Thank you for the escort. It's not a proper thanks. But would you care to fight me? I can see just a hint of frustration in your eyes. <laughs> Fear not. I jest. Such things have their time and their place, of course. And what we have here appears to be neither. That young lady, Hitsugi, was it? She looks well at last. Altogether different from when our paths last crossed. Everyone around her seemed to have strong wills, not just Hitsugi. They were very human. I will not give you credit for all of it, but they likely give that impression because they have you. How very splendid. I wonder why that man fails to believe in the strength, the vibrancy, the beauty of the human will. The people who live today have the ability to make progress on their own two feet, yet... An earthquake in Las Vegas? Help me! <laughs> It cannot be. He turned into a phantasm. What have you done, Adam? Is this how you envision the evolution you so crave?
you saw that as well. This is Adam's doing. He is forcing evolution on living creatures, birthing incompatible, mutated monsters. This forced evolution of his is wholly unwanted, a desecration of the present human life. We have no time to dawdle. If she is unsure or indecisive, I trust you know what to do. So this forced evolution twisted the members of Earthguide into mere shells of their former selves. I don't want to believe it, but you did see it happen right in front of you, yeah? Inciting an evolutionary change in the body. It's like with the false spawn. That's right! It seems especially ironic when you take into consideration that false spawn were originally created from photons. Almost at the same time as the report, the entire Earth's ether level began to increase. It's as though the Earth itself is producing the ether. It's a clear anomaly. In accordance with the increase in ether, phantasms are appearing sporadically all over the world. Matoy and the Six are in the process of working with the local Earth Guide and dispatching the main Arcs forces to deal with these incidents. However, with the intensity we're seeing, forget stemming the tide, it's only going to get worse. There's no end. It's like the ether is crying out over being forcibly changed. It's as if... He's trying to remake the entire world. What's he trying to make with the ether? What do you think could make it behave like this? to a god? He sure seemed to think he was a god. Give rise to a god. What? Huh? Hitsuki? I thought you were joking, but... Guide Earth, seek further evolution, reform the world and bring about a new one. The shortest way for the guy to do what he says he wants to do is to create a god of creation, yeah? Sounds like something right out of a myth. Some epic tale of the ancients. Don't we give our dreams form the same way? Fair point. Of course. I don't know about guiding Earth or seeking evolution, but I'll be damned if I'm gonna let him do this. We're not strong enough on our own, though. Even with Hitsugi, we still wouldn't be enough. That's why we need your help, too.
Thank you very much. 